What if I told you that you could reset your body just by pressing a specific point on your foot? What if there was a non-invasive and natural way to improve the health of every organ in your body? Well, luckily for you, there is. And it's just what we're going to be talking about today. Reflexology is a form of treatment used by both the ancient Chinese and the ancient Egyptians. The techniques used in reflexology have been perfected over centuries of practice, and even now are used by Chinese masters. So what is reflexology? Reflexology is a form of non-invasive treatment that uses specific reflex points located on the bottom of the feet to stimulate relaxation and stress reduction in other areas of the body. This is based on the zone theory. Exclusively used in Chinese traditional medicine, the zone theory divides the body into 10 zones or meridians. Since the entire body is mapped out onto the feet, specific pressure points on the feet correlate to specific parts of the body. Now, how does a reflexology treatment start? A reflexology treatment begins with a massage of the yin tang and tai yang pressure points located at the temples. This is done to relax the mind. Your mind has a very strong hormonal connection with the rest of your body. Until and unless your mind is fully relaxed, no healing process can properly begin. Try to relax and let go. The more relaxed you are, the better the effect of the treatment will be. This is how your body is divided according to reflex points. The toe represents the head and the crease right under it is for the neck. Next, we've got the diaphragm, a bit above the center of the foot, whereas the waistline is right under the center. As for the left and right parts of the body, they're divided equally among the two feet. The left foot represents the left part of the body, while the right foot represents the right part. Massaging the reflex points of a certain body part helps reduce the stress on that part. Relaxation and stress reductions lead to better hormonal control of that part. And since hormonal imbalances and energy blockages are the main cause of issues, this helps sort that out. For example, if you've got muscle cramps in your neck, massaging the big toe can help alleviate the pain. As for constipation or even PCOS pain, massaging the waistline is the way to go. Let's take a look at the reflex points that correlate to the upper portion of the body. As we mentioned before, the zones of the body have been divided equally onto the two feet. To get a better understanding of how that works, you can take a look at this. In reflexology, the parts of the body are seen as ipsilateral to the foot. What this means is that the body parts are considered to be on the same side as they are in the body. This applies to everything except the brain, which is seen as contralateral. Starting from the top of the body, we have the brain, which corresponds to the big toe, and as a result, this is where the reflex points for the brain is present. The tips of the toes are where individual reflex points for each part of the brain lie. In case someone has suffered brain injury, stroke, or any other sort of brain-related neurological disorder, there will be a significant amount of energy blockages in this area. Massaging these areas will help you get rid of them, and aid your body in the healing process. Moving down to the tips of the toes, we've got the reflex points for the sinuses. Working on these points will be useful for people with sinuses, nasal blockages, and allergies. If you're someone that suffers from nasal blockage or seasonal allergies, this will be a game changer for you. Just make sure to familiarize yourself with all the reflex points before you get started. On the underside of the big toe, we've got the pineal reflex point for the circadian rhythm and the pituitary reflex point for all the endocrine glands. This includes the pituitary, thymus, and adrenal glands. Right under the pineal reflex, we have the thyroid and parathyroid reflex points. These control the metabolism and energy production rate of the body. These reflex points will be useful in people that suffer from metabolic issues like hyper and hypothyroidism. In case you're someone that struggles with putting on weight, massaging the thyroid and parathyroid reflex points might prove useful. Moving further down, we've got the neck reflex at the point of attachment of the big toe with the rest of the foot. This region is important for tension headaches, neck pain, and issues with posture. As for the little toes, their tips, as we mentioned earlier, correspond to different regions of the brain. Their stems, on the other hand, are associated with reflex points for the teeth and the neck. Once we're done with the toes, it's time to move towards the actual foot. 
Starting off with the little crevices between the toes, we have the pressure points for the inner ear, the outer ear, and the shoulder. Take a look at this to see how these reflex points are arranged. These reflex points are useful when dealing with people that suffer from motion sickness and vertigo, since both these issues are associated with the cochlea present in the inner ear. Moving down to the foot, we have the reflex points for the lungs located on the right side of the foot. Naturally, the heart is on the right side of the foot. As you can probably guess, the reflex point for the heart is good for cardiovascular disorders, while the reflex points for the lungs are useful for diseases like asthma or even pneumonia. Right under this, you're going to see a line. The center of this line, or crease, is the reflex point for the solar plexus, whereas the edges are where the reflex points for the diaphragm lie. You might have noticed that when you're dealing with anxiety or stress, your breaths get more shallow. Well, these reflex points help you combat that and take deeper, calmer breaths. I would recommend you try this the next time you're stressed. On the left of the midsection of the foot, we've got the reflex point for the liver. And on the right, we've got the reflex point for the stomach. Working on the liver reflex point will help your body with detoxification and issues like jaundice. As for the stomach reflex point, that should be your go-to when you suffer from digestive disorders or acidity. In the center of it all lies the reflex point for the kidneys and the adrenal glands. The adrenal glands control the stress hormone cortisol and the emergency hormone adrenaline. Massaging this point in addition to the diaphragm reflex point will help you a lot anytime you're feeling stressed or anxious. As for the kidneys, if we follow them along with their anatomical positions, we can trace the ureter and finally the urinary bladder into the small curve at the side of our foot. The bladder also continues to the other foot, since, as we mentioned before, zone theory divides the zones or meridians of the body equally on both feet, according to their anatomical position. At the top of the heel, we've got the intestines. Starting at the rightmost part, we've got the ileocecal valve. Moving slowly upwards on the right side of the foot, we've got the ascending colon. Take a right, and next is the transverse colon, followed by the splenic curve, and finally, the sigmoid colon. Since this was the large intestine, the small intestine should obviously be right beside it. The reflex points for the small intestine cover the entire area under the large intestine. In case you've got constipation or flatulence, massaging this area can help improve your condition. Reflexology doesn't directly affect the parts of the body that the reflex points correlate to. Instead, it improves the blood circulation to that area and helps get rid of energy blockages towards that area. Once blood circulation improves, the healing process and the removal of harmful toxins from that place also speeds up. These techniques are performed daily by medical professionals and are the result of centuries of traditional medicine being passed down through generations of Chinese and Egyptian physicians. That was all for this video. Let me know if you liked it by pressing the thumbs up button. Subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any future updates. See you next time. Peace.